Hi everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and welcome to my 6x6 paper week. Um, today I've got project number 6, so we've only got one more after this one. Um, and today I really like this because you don't need um, a die to create these little envelopes. Well, you don't, but if you want a nice fancy little edge on like I've put here, you will. Um, but it's not essential, you could use um, a punch, whatever you've got, or just leave it plain. So I've made these cute little envelopes and the idea is, I thought you could make like a kind of little envelope um, flip book. And you could obviously fill your little envelopes um, with lots of little goodies, whatever, die cuts, embellishments, all sorts of things. And I've just put a little kind of ephemera piece on there, um, a stamped image that I've cut out and some scissors there that I've cut out. And I've just punched a hole in them and slotted them on a little ring. So I'm gonna show you how to make them and you could get loads on this. Um, and just fill each one with lots of little goodies. It'll be great for swaps and little gifts. So we're using the, um, oh, the Tropical Chic designer paper. That's what I've used throughout this. Um, and to get the fancy edge on mine, I just have um, a selection of dies. I think a couple of them are stamping up, but the rest are just what I've already got in my uh, stash and I'm using this one here just to keep it the same theme but like I say you can use a punch um, or you could just round the corners or you could use some fancy like pink and shears anything really so okay um, oh, I haven't got my notes out let's have a look so it needs to measure should have had this out already. What am I like? Right, so obviously we need a six by six um, and it needs to, we need to cut it to five and a half by four and a half, okay? So the four and a half inch side needs to be the direction that the paper will be, okay? If that makes sense. So this is the way I would want my paper, so I'm going to cut this to four and a half inches. Alright, and then the uh, long side, we'll cut it to five and a half. Alright, so what you want to do is on the long side you want to score it at one and one eighth of an inch and then three and a half inches so your envelope will run down this way then on the short side you want to score both sides at half an inch it's dead easy And that's it. So we can fold and burnish. And as you can see, that is the way your envelope will open and close. All right, so we've got um two big sections and a small one so what you want to do is you want to remove the bottom there's a big section at the bottom you want to remove these two little side score lines and then I'm just gonna mite it in there okay remove this one and do the same you want to keep the middle one and then you want to cut away the two small rectangles on the top. Again, I'm just going to mite it in and I'm going to cut away the score lines as well. So 
so that's what you should end up with okay they will fold in you need to put glue down here and then it will just stick to there and then there you go there is your sweet little envelope so again I'm going to use this die that I've got so I'm just going to uh, quickly get the big shot going to pop it on the smaller section because that will be like the flap of the envelope. I'm just going to line it on the bottom like that. And just run that through and then as you can see that cuts out that fancy shape but as I say just use what you've got so you can use glue or tape and we just need to put a thin piece a thin strip of glue just down each side like that and then fold them in and that will glue to there And there is your gorgeous little envelope and you can use a velcro dot or whatever you want to close them um, I've just been using some of these um, little glue dots that are removable they're not permanent so they stick down well but they don't tear the card or paper so I've got the same set that I used the little scissors and the peg four which is crafting forever and I'm going to use this made with love now um, which I've got mounted somewhere there it is just need a bit of uh, card here and I'm just going to stamp it with a uh, lovely lipstick and then I'm just going to fussy cut it out. Okay. And that's going to go on the front of that envelope. I'll just cut round it first. And then just cut this out. There we go and then we can put a couple of uh, dimensionals on the back and stick this on to the front of our little envelope and obviously it's going to hang that way so I'm just going to put them hmm, well that one's actually a bit too wide isn't it so it might have to go this way it doesn't really matter you can put them anywhere you like and then I used my uh, crocodile to uh, punch the hole out and I used the 3 sixteenths so I just put them all together and just punch through them all together so I'm just going to try and get it lined up so they're all the same 
can't see there because it's got bits in it. Pull, push them out. And then I'm just going to punch through the hole. Okay, so now they've all got the little hole in. And then just slot them onto my little ring. And there you go. Gorgeous. And then you can just fill them with whatever you want. As I said, you'll get, you know, you'll be able to put loads on here and just fill each one with whatever you want. So that was project number six. Um, I will be back again tomorrow with number seven, which will be the last one. Um, so I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope it's given you some ideas to use up your 6x6 six six papers. Um, so yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.